Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ryan Baxter, and today uh, I'd like to tell you a little bit about a new project, a new open source project we have uh, started to work on from the Open Social Foundation, uh, and it's called the Open Social Explorer. Now, the Open Social Explorer is a uh, open source project uh, meant to enable developers uh, to learn how to build open social gadgets. Uh, so the basic premise behind this is to allow developers to uh, have a place to go to to see uh, various samples of how uh, to use features and APIs from, from open social. Uh, so today I'd like to take you through um, um, uh, how, to, how to get started with the Open Social Explorer, um, how to get the code, how to get it running, and then how to uh, use the, the application and then talk a little bit about how you can start contributing to the project. So we don't yet have the Open Social, Open Social Explorer hosted anywhere uh, for you to just go to and try out, although that's in our, our uh, plans in the future. Uh, but it's not that hard to get started with the project uh, um, uh, if you're familiar with uh, Git and, and Maven. So uh, to get started here, we have the project um, on the Open Social Explorer uh, GitHub account. I'm sorry, on the Open Social Foundation's GitHub account. Um, uh, you can find it there. Uh, the repo is private right now, but as soon as I'm done uh, editing the video, I'll make it public. Um, if you go down to the README, um, you can see there's three simple commands to get started. Uh, so let's just go ahead and execute those, uh, those commands in our terminal uh, to get the code and, and launch the application. So let's, uh, first we're going to clone the repository. Uh, so we just run the git command to do that. Uh, and that shouldn't take too long to uh, finish. OK, we can see that that has uh, finished now. Now we just need to uh, uh, cd into the explorer, uh, the explorer directory. And then we're just going to uh, kick off Maven in order to um, uh, launch Jetty uh, with the built project um, running within it. So that is pretty easy to do. We'll just run Maven clean package and then uh, run the run uh, profile. So this will take a minute to build and um, uh, start up the server. Okay, so uh, Maven has finished uh, building the project and has deployed the, uh, the built war uh, to a Jetty server, and the Jetty server is now running. Um, so all we have to do is go to our browser and head over to localhost 8080. And you can see here we have uh, the Open Social Explorer up and running. So the home page just has a little bit of a description uh, of the Open Social Explorer, but the real content is uh, on the explore page. So if we head uh, over there, uh, we can see um, this is kind of the, the meat of the Open Social Explorer. Uh, so just because we're on a lower resolution here, I'll I'm gonna switch things around here so I can uh, switch the, the position of the editor and where the gadget renders here just to make it uh, a little bit better. Um, so as you can see here uh, from the Open Social Explorer, um, on the left we have a whole bunch of different examples. And there's uh, a few of them here, and uh, there's many more we can uh, build. Uh, but this is what we have working today. Um, so some of the more important APIs uh, and features of the Open Social spec are already represented here uh, and have various different, different samples. Um, so the idea is that a developer would come here and they can click on uh, one of the samples and then uh, depending on what sample they select, the source code for that sample will then show um, over here at the top of the page. Um, so in this case, the welcome example has a few different files associated with it. Uh, so we can see the gadget XML uh, here in our editor. Um, there's also an HTML file, a CSS file, and a JavaScript file uh, associated with the sample. Um, now, and uh, right below the editor here, uh, because I, I switched the position of the, uh, the rendering portion of the screen, there is the, uh, the gadget is actually rendered down here. 
So the idea is that I can go into this code and um, uh, I can edit this code and uh, see what, how the changes affect um, uh, the gadget. So I can say, you know, welcome to the Open Social Explorer. This app rocks. And click render up here. And we can see the gadget re-renders. Um, so this is a very, you know, obviously very uh, minimalistic uh, sample. It's uh, um, uh, pretty much uh, your hello world uh, example here. Uh, so there's not much we can do with it, but it gives you a basic idea of, you know, what the concept is behind the Explorer. Um, there's many other different features here, depending on the gadgets that you, uh, you want to, or the features you're interested in looking at. So I can go to preferences, for example, here, and this is a preferences gadget. You can see in this case, we only have a single uh, uh, tab here because everything is, is, is inside the gadget XML. Um, but I can do a lot of different things here, right? So I can see um, this is what the, the gadget actually looks like when it renders. Um, if I want to start playing around with the preferences, I can uh, go over here to this dropdown, which has various different uh, functionalities associated with it. But I want to look at the preferences for the gadget, so I click on preferences. Displays me all the preferences um, uh, for the gadget. I can go ahead and manipulate these and uh, click save, and we can see that will re-render the gadget as well. Now maybe I want to um, add, uh, change something here. I can, you know, there's a, the color yellow is missing from the gadget, uh, from the preferences here, so I'm gonna add that as well. And I can go ahead and add that enum value and fix the formatting. And um, I'll click uh, render to re-render the gadget and then head back to my preferences. And we can see now that yellow is part of the dropdown here. So I can save that and it changes the value. Um, so there's various other samples here. You know, it doesn't matter if you're interested in making API calls with make requests, you can see how to do that. There's a good sample of that. Um, there's uh, samples for how to use OAuth um, in gadgets, samples for embedded experiences. Um, the ones I just want to point out here because it may not be um, may not be obvious uh, initially, but uh, for action selection and uh, open uh, actually just action selections, um, if you select one of these gadgets and you're looking for uh, how to execute the action or execute the action associated with the gadget, uh, all that stuff is is um, is in the um, uh, the menu here, the gadget menu. So I can, you know, these are the actions that get contributed by the, by the gadget. So I can click on the action and it will uh, execute inside my gadget. So it's a good example, very basic, not very functional, but a good example of how to use actions inside your gadget. Same thing with selection. I can go to selection, uh, the selection menu and select a different type and it publishes the selection to the gadget. So very minimalistic example, but um, I just wanted to point out that a lot of the uh, actions and selections and views and stuff like that um, are located in this menu. So um, you've seen what the app is and what the app is all about, um, but we're also looking for contributors as well. Um, you know, there's there's a few samples here. Um, there's many more to be created. Um, there's various different pieces of functionality that we need help with um, uh, with the Open Social Explorer. Um, so if you are uh, interested in helping out or contributing any, any examples or codes or features uh, to the Open Social Explorer, we, we suggest you do that. Um, the way uh, we want uh, contributions made, though, uh, is via kind of the standard uh, Git, GitHub procedures here. So we cloned uh, this repository just to get started because it was easy. But in all actuality, if you're thinking of doing um, uh, making a contribution to the project, you should really fork the repository here and then clone that. Um, that way you can then submit your um, pull requests uh, and we can uh, consider uh, your, uh, contributing your contribution back to the project. Um, that's all, uh, if you're interested in knowing how to do that, um, that's also documented down here uh, where we explain, link to the GitHub help about how to fork the repository. Um, there's also um, a project website for the Open Social Explorer. 
So if you go to opensocial.github.com slash explorer, it will bring you to the project website. Um, there's a few useful um, articles here. Uh, if, you're, if you're looking to get started doing development, um, there's, there's a pretty good uh, getting started guide here about how to uh, get started. It's a little bit more elaborate here. Um, everything from where you're going to need to run the Open Social, Open Social Explorer, uh, getting the code, and then contributing code back. Um, if you want to add uh, new gadget specs uh, to the Open Social Explorer, you want to add your own samples, um, here's instructions on how to do that. That's pretty uh, easy as well. Um, and obviously when you're contributing code, you want to make sure you're writing good unit tests. So we have some articles, an article on how to write uh, unit tests uh, for the Open Social Explorer as well. So this is just a brief overview. Uh, we hope to create a few more videos about the Open Social Explorer um, and how to use it. And uh, as new features get added, um, we'll uh, demo those as well. Also, uh, the hosted version we hope to have up uh, fairly soon. And uh, looking forward to uh, uh, people contributing and uh, uh, let us know what you think. Thanks.